the clips gathered here come from interviews I conducted for a documentary narrative film called Light the Night, which deals with philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche. The screen time on this project was extremely limited and I ended up with many great interviews. Some of those interviews are indicated here, telegraphed as short snippets, and I will be adding more of those interviews as I go along in the process. But I'm really appreciative to the members of International Society for Universal Dialogue uh, who are mostly uh, the philosophers that were gracious enough to talk to me uh, and who appear on the presented clips here. I swore to myself never again to do a project with no money since Light the Night took two years to post-produce but I guess uh, it's difficult to get it out of my system, those attempts to um, undertake uh, philosophy on screen and I'm thinking about uh, starting a yet another project. The tentative title for that yet another project would be Death Ears Madness. And the question would be, is there a communication, an attempted dialogue between uh, the reality and ourselves? which manifests itself through events, people, spaces. The film would try to explore why are we oblivious to the messages, why are we deaf, which results in madness, death ears madness. And I was thinking that um, such an essay, uh, such a process could happen in three different parts of the globe. Uh, my beloved Los Angeles, Warsaw, where I'm currently hanging out, and um, Hiroshima or Yokohama, uh, because of the fact that there is the upcoming ISUD conference and I'm hoping that perhaps some of the attendees uh, might find uh, what I just said worth their uh, uh, time, reflection, and perhaps uh, we could talk about this, perhaps on camera.